Good morning. Happy April 30th. Is it really the last day of April? Oh, gosh. Anyway, yes. Today's the 30th, last day of April. Um, I'm still getting used to... I'm still getting into the routine of things of being back home, even though we've been home for over a week now. But now this is like the first week where I need to get back into the swing of things. But anyways, yes. Um, What's today? Today's Tuesday. So Sunday, I'm pretty sure I didn't talk to the camera Sunday. But I finished reading Terms of Inheritance Sunday. Yeah, I finished that. Where was I? Okay, yeah. So I finished that book. Then I started this book called Love. The Love Con, which is about our main character. She is a cosplayer, and she's in this really big competition where she can win money and have this, like, special opportunity to, like, design for some, a movie, I think. But, yeah, so she's, like, in this competition, and she has this one challenge where she has to work with a partner. Yeah, yeah. So she has to work with a partner and she picked her friend, but then they ended up having a fake date during this whole process. And he kind of, I forgot what he does, but he's into the cosplay and design and stuff too, like her. So yeah, I'm only on page 18. So I think that's chapter two. But yeah, I like it. It's really cute. So that's Sunday. Yesterday, I don't know what happened yesterday, but I just woke up with a cold pretty much. Like, But luckily I took a night quill. And I woke up pretty fine right now. So hopefully that was the last of it. What else? Today, I really need to edit chapter 15. Considering I haven't posted yeah i need to edit chapter 15 i need to read i need to organize my stuff for may because i have did no planning whatsoever and it's the second month of quarter two and i pretty much haven't really stuck to my goals yeah oh gosh I have a lot to do in May, but that's okay, or at least next. I don't know. I have a lot to do. Let's get to it, I guess. I don't know. I don't know anymore, y'all. Happy May. I hope everybody had a good April. I know I had a really good April. Um, this is my tripod. My mini one. But anyway, as you see, as you saw, I'm re-watching Haikyuu. Haikyuu. I swear, I feel like I'm saying it wrong. But anyway, I'm re-watching Haikyuu because I saw on Netflix they added the um, the fourth season and I only got to the, the, I only got to the third season on Crunchyroll, I think. Or was it on Hulu? It was on something that I was watching it on. But yeah, it's on Netflix now and I decided to just re-watch it. I remember some things, but I feel like I forgot some things too. 
And I forgot how much I enjoyed watching this anime. So yeah, I'm only on episode two. Yeah, really good anime. You should watch it if you haven't yet. Okay, so it's May. And normally I would probably be sharing my May TBR list. But for this month, I don't think I'm going to do a TBR for the simple fact. Because I don't stick to my TBR list at all. Some months I do and some months I don't. So for now on, I'm just going to use a number generator to pick out which books and mangas I'm going to read. I think, because normally I read like three books at one time. And that's not really helpful for me. So I think I'm just going to read a kindle book and a physical book at the same time so yeah so the physical book that i'm reading right now is the love con and i think i shared what this book is about earlier and then the kindle book that i'm reading which is kind of a physical book is definitely hollow which i'm just reading on my kindle because it's easier and this book is pretty thick so yeah those are the two books i'm currently reading hopefully i could try to finish them this week and then start on a whole new set of books tomorrow i mean not tomorrow next week see me good morning happy may 3rd i'm getting ready to go to the movies by myself so i have nobody to go with and i wanted to see the challenger so yeah that's what we're about to do we me and you yeah it should be fun i don't know what i'm doing after but I don't know if I should take a book or not. If not, I could just read on my phone. Yeah. I heard good things about this movie, so hopefully I like it. I'll like it. I'll like it, yeah. So I'm back home from watching The Challenger. It was better than what I expected to be, honestly. I enjoyed it a lot. It was a really good movie. It is rated R, if you didn't know that. But yeah, it Yeah, so like, I, like, the structure of the movie was like really cool. Like the camera angles and then like the music that they were playing. That was interesting, and I, I don't know if this is a spoiler, but obviously it's a tennis movie. So one of the camera angles was like the tennis ball. So we were the tennis ball, and we were like just going back and forth, and it was crazy. But it was so cool, because I haven't really seen anything like that. Maybe. But yeah, I really, I don't know if you should like pick like a team. But like I loved art. Or Mike. Mike is the um actor actor's name. But it's crazy because I like art when he was young and he had like his hair. And then I like Patrick when he was older. I guess it was like the beard or something. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I it was a good movie. Ten out of ten for me, I guess. Zendaya was really good yeah it's crazy i don't because i didn't watch euphoria and i probably i don't know if i will or not but like her acting is really good 
And I just love Zendaya. I've been watching Zendaya since I was, since whenever um, Shake It Up came out. But yeah, really good movie. I would recommend it for people if you are over 18. Because it is a rated R movie. But yeah. Um, good morning. May the 4th be with you. Happy May 4th. That was cheesy. Anyways, um, today is May 4th and we're going to Disneyland today. Yeah, I feel like we're always at Disneyland. But we have the annual passes, so we might as well use them. This is what I'm wearing today. And I know I wore the jacket Monday or Sunday. But I washed it, so it's good. And then the stormtroopers, I don't know if you can see it, but they say pew pew. It says pew, and this one says pew, and it's really cool. The only downside is that they don't have pockets. Ignore zero on the back. But it's a cool jacket. I like it. So yeah. I'm tired. Alrighty, here we are. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Please stow all carry-on items in the under-seat compartment for your safety. We are ready for takeoff. Thank you. 